Oh, hey guys, apparently Marconi has catched the coronavirus. <gasps> and now I have to edit my own YouTube videos. Can't be that hard. Let's get right into it. Has to be easy. Let's go. Okay, so how do you edit? Can't be that hard. You open paint, you take the clip you want to edit and... What? Huh? Well, that didn't work. Maybe if I just right click and edit video or something? Wait, this is all Japanese. What? Huh? Ah, editing seems to be harder than I thought. How are people doing this? All the YouTube plebs are gonna have no content. Tommy, I am the god of editing. I will show you the way of the edit, my friend. <laughs> Please teach me. What is the answer? The answer is Filmora 9. <laughs> but what exactly is Filmora 9? Sponsor time, it is sponsor time. Baby, I gotta tell you, it is sponsor time. You also wanna learn how to edit? I got the answer right here with Filmora 9. Editing, a job with a lot of future or prospect. And if you actually want to start becoming an editor, for example, for YouTubers, Filmora 9 is just the perfect software for you right now. First of all, Filmora 9 is one of the best video editing softwares out there and it's very easy to learn and use. You will learn how to edit videos very, very quickly for just $69.99. All these other programs like $2,000 and stuff, nobody has that in the beginning. Seriously. You can also try out the latest version of Filmora number 9 if you click the link down below right now. And once you're getting really good at your editing skills, you can even upgrade it to Filmora Pro to get even better and better and better and better and better. So boys, it's up to you. If you care about the job that has a lot of prospect in the future, click the link down below. All the best to you in these weird times of Corona Bona. Have fun with the video and feel entertained a bit, boys. Press the like button. Bye! This game is before La Resistance. Multiplayer in La Resistance is currently not doing so hot, so we are waiting until there's a good multiplayer game. This game though is really good and we didn't wanna drop it without making a video on it. The content is really good, so trust me and watch it. Thanks and enjoyed the video boys. Another game gone to this bullshit, man. I'm not even fucking mad at this shit anymore. Another game gone because of this. The dude had two allies, man. Two fucking allies. Switzerland and France. France was at war with, with fucking Austria. What happens? The fucking Kuvibian motherfuckers jerk off on Firenze. Okay, let's go here for, man. That was fun. That was great. Um, uh, what do I want to play? Uh, well, I promised Poland, didn't I? 67 players, man. I told you, during the week, we got no players. Oh, that's good timing. Welcome to Hoi for Gentlemen, today, in this episode of Mad Ninja Plays Video Games, we are Poland. And I guarantee you, the first thing that's going to happen is Germany saying, uh, Give me Poznan and Judina, and I will have peace with you. Can't wait for that one, guys. Bam, bam. Train the boys. Take a look at the research. We have four research slots. I'm a big fan of that. What's that? The Polish Cypher Bureau. Decryption research plus five. Also, we uh, we can't make fighters as Poland, apparently. Okay. Let's get all the good shit. Technology. We're going to go with this one. And we're going to go with this one. Yep, yep, yep. That's what we're doing. It's built on 60%. That's not going to be fucking taken by Germany. Hey, Poland, give me these. Yeah, man. The four-year plan. Uh, this is the... Oh, you get an instant research slot. Now you need more than 50. Dude, what is this focus tree? Holy crap, man. Dude. If you are Poland, you got to fucking roleplay amazingly. If you don't get close to Germany or Russia ASAP, you fucking... Bye-bye. Fuck you, man. Bye-bye. We got to get a fucking idea here, man. Let's start, man. We hope Warsaw and Berlin can remain in peaceful relations with each other. 
for we are the final bulwark against communism for the rest of Europe. And perhaps in the future there could even be further cooperation between our countries. You do not have to worry, Mr. Ignazi. We hope for peace as well, sir. Great to hear, friend. Poland will start to militarize against external threats, especially from Moscow. You take this one who has aggressive assaulter plus 10 breakthrough. That is insane for light tanks. And that's my goal. I, I don't want to say it, but we're kind of going light tanks. And this one? Holy crap. Plus 10% breakthrough? Are you kidding me? Yeah, I, I see you have a crazy cavalry guy, but fuck. Who gives a fuck about cavalry? But man, Kashmiresh Sosnovsky looks fucking good. Thank you. Oh, dude, look at these gen. Whoa, what are these generals, man? Bro. What the fuck, man? Motorized attack. Hmm. Dude, five attack. Holy crap. Poland has... Whoever designed Poland, the Road 56, did his job, man. There's a lot of people in Poland that want the restoration of the Commonwealth. Uh, do you have any cool events? Invest in Fiat and Ford. Dude, whoever designed Poland, respect. This is a very, very, very well-made Poland. If every nation would be designed like this, Y4 would be unbelievably insane. Reform the Commonwealth. Lithuanian constitutional crisis controls all Polish states. What's missing? Oh, Kiev and shit? Oh. Oh, God. We have a goal. Oh, God. This is not sounding so easy. Aleppo does not even have a port. What the fuck happened here? Yo, he sold he sold something to Greece and something to Czechoslovakia. Oh, my God. Let's seek our first accommodation with Germany. That's like a good roleplay move to show that we're actually close to Germany. Upsky? In a recent diplomatic meeting between Josef Beck, Polish Minister of Foreign Affairs, and Joachim von Rippentrop, German Reich Minister of Foreign Affairs, a mutual consensus was finally reached. Adolf Hitler has instructed the local Nazi government to cease anti-Polish actions. In return, we have promised to not support the actions of the anti-Nazi opposition in Danzig. Through the issue of the city status remains far from settled, our recent rapprochement has yielded some positive results. Yo, every single focus has a crazy event? What the fuck, man? This is a nation right. I'm taking the right, man. The colonial's regime. We're becoming a military regime. What a fucking focus tree. I'm so impressed. Okay, we're making Poland into a military dictatorship. Which makes sense. We're surrounded by enemies. We're surrounded by warmongers. We gotta make Poland great again. It's the only way to survive. In this number one country in the world. We stay with Mochkiki. Power sharing agreement. Dude. That is the craziest designed country I've ever seen before. I am deeply, deeply impressed. I've never seen a country so well designed. Poland announces the sale of light tank two licenses to anyone interested. Modernize your army now. I shouldn't have said that because now everybody makes anti-tanks. Ah, I just need 300. Oh, people are actually buying the license. Ooh. I made two sips from that. That was a good commercial after all. Good. Okay, training regiment now looks great. It looks perfect. Okay, we're playing meta, obviously. Listen, every time I don't play meta, everything... I'm so impressed. I can't just, I can't stop talk, talking about it. Listen, Hoi 4 is my life, right? I, I, I play Hoi 4 for three years every day, almost. And this is the greatest design I've ever seen. I can't stop talking about it. Shit. True, I think that Japan is role-playing a democratic nation and he is approaching the democratic USA and they're already... I mean, the USA already has a huge base to intervene in Asia, man. Ugh. Well, I'm in a game. I didn't notice. Hitler got assassinated. Oh, God. Oh, God. Mr. Göring, we are set to hear what happened. It's a game to a gentleman. To Hitler. We hope the deals with Warsaw will be uphold by you, sir. Germany announces the death of Adolf Hitler. Dude, I hope he didn't trick me, man. He's gonna kill us, man. All or most policy deals will remain with whatever German state emerges, sir. Okay. Dude, is he going? He must be going to... What is he doing? 
Is that communism? Oh, that's gonna be interesting what he does. One sec, I don't see the democratic Germany, man. Oof. Dem that's that's cool, man. Democratic Germany. I mean, good thing, dude. I was about to go fascist. Dear D will the fuck me. I want to approach Germany. I want to go fascist. If I was fascist now, I couldn't go with him because he's democratic. He wanted to kind of fuck us a bit here, man. You know. Warsaw is surprised by a democratic approach in Germany, but hopes that Adenauer and his cabinet still can work with the Polish military command to face communism together. I mean, if I lose Germany here, man, we have an issue. Nobody will talk shit to me anymore. But fuck that shit, man. What the fuck? That is a weird color, man. What the fuck? Drop, wait. Oh, we got hacked? Yo, what happened here? Hacker. GG hacker. Nice hacker. Oh. You see, people like this guy, you know. Can we just uh, rehost? He did it on 8th of February. He didn't do it on the first. And bye bye Danzig. Boom. Danzig is gone. Bye bye. Bye bye. I have approached. Yeah, man. Polish Wizards, man. And I have a front. No, I, 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 no, no, no. I believe in Germany, man. I hope Germany's not fucking me up here. I hope Germany is our friend. Okay, let's approach it, man. Let's approach and get this shit serious, man. Poland announces the reinstitution of the Commonwealth. Long live the Commonwealth. Hua! Well, look who else wants to take it. Yo, motherfucker. That was a wasted attachy, dude. Yo, you motherfucker gonna pay for that. Oh my god, you're gonna pay for that. Motherfucker, dude. You motherfucker. Oh, you're gonna fucking pay the blood price for that, man. Let's get some winter clothing. We're going to... As Latvia is joining Moscow, Warsaw is joining the German sphere. Step at the front line. He called. Yeah, man. Us. Oh, maybe that's a bit. Maybe that's a bit too much. And people are gonna be like, man, Russia's gonna lose a shit ton of people here. Russia's gonna lose a bunch of people, man. Don't form the Commonwealth. Anyone in chat saying form the Commonwealth knows nothing about the game. You get a huge debuff when you form a Commonwealth, man. Oof, that was a lot of money, and that's a lot of encircled Danish motherfuckers, dude. Oh, Denmark! Denmark! We gotta talk! Dude, I'm, I killed all of Scandinavia kinda here. They're all fucking dying, dude. Let the tanks go in. And go. Tank. Uh, tank? Oh, I can only attack from Danish. Uh, I mean, Polish. I can only attack from Poland. Russia going all in for a fucking Latvia. Dude, I cannot handle this, this here, I think. I know there's invasion, but who cares? They can't go through here. I gotta give away this land anyway when Russia comes. We can't have a big front line. Okay, Germany is at peace with... No, he's not... I'm just confused. Just keep playing. Don't even ask questions. I'm getting so used to Hoi 4, man. Just keep playing, man. Don't even ask questions. Don't even ask fucking questions, dummy. Sup, Russia? Woo! Oh, Germany needs to join. Germany. Ger oh, come on. You're just walking in Germany to join. Oh, every single game ends in there you go. But now he's exiled. 
Every single game always needs to end in memory. This is what I am destined. Man, that pressure. He's taking it down. Who's dead? Iberia. I mean, they all have free attacks here. The, everything is on me. Killing the north seems to be not very hard right now. I'm too boomer to, to remember that line. There you go, man. Fuck you, man. Fuck that shit. Get the fuck out. Okay, you, you heard it, man. You heard that. What is this, Africa? Well, uh, France did anti-colonization strats. <gasps> I couldn't circle Latvia, but... Wait, he's retreating! Oh my god, he's retreating! What are you doing? He was like, oh god, they're gonna encircle me. Well, let's fucking try it then, right? Russia. Time to make the Commonwealth now, actually. Where do you make Commonwealth? Look at the debuff now. The Commonwealth has returned. The rebirth of the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth. The debuff is this one. Look at the debuff. It's not, it's not that bad, actually. As Poland and Lithuania are once more governed by a single state, the Polish government has begun drawing on history for its propaganda and an effort to unite the people behind its policies. The historical experts bombard the population with the various ways in which United Poland and Lithuania could stand against blah blah blah. Today, the Polish government has taken this one step further and proclaimed the restoration of the Commonwealth. Oh, the Incan Republic. Holy crap, show me that flag. And the game crash, no. Oh, oh, oh. Pride, my boy. Pride, man. I'm with you. Oh, fuck, is Russia falling apart now? Is this it, man? I mean, this this Russia has to make too much, it's not his fault. Well, he chose to fight me, he should have done that just for Latvia. What are you doing? Siege of Moscow. We are the great Polish. Can I make a nation? Okay. Uh, there also was um, the Grand Duchy of Lithuania. There was. Um Okay, that's fucking Moscow. And with that, I think we can call it here today. That was a good Poland. We won. We made the Commonwealth. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it for the day, man. And it was a decent roleplay game. It was good. It's just always the, these roleplay games become a bit toxic very quickly because I attack someone and just, man, Scandinavia, Latvia, Russia, let's go for Tommy. And then I just have to micro a lot. I just have to fucking micro and play it. There's not a lot of roleplay left then. Yeah, that's fine. The support, the subs, I love you guys. If you ever get offended by the shit I'm talking, man, hey, get the stick out of your ass. We're all dead in 100 years, 50 years even, maybe. Stop being so fucking mad all the time, okay? Just be fucking cool for once. Love you guys. See you on Monday. Follow me on Twitter. Merch is coming next week. Click the follow button and just be a nice person. Trump is the god emperor. I love you guys. Bye bye. Sad. Now I'm just sitting here sad.